Hello and welcome back to another video. So, I, at, uh, on the uh, review of the utilities add-on, uh, a comment specifically asked me, uh, you know, like I uh, compared the utilities add-on to the, to like, uh, world utilities and essentials add-on, and uh, that he asked me, um, about uh, utilities versus Amos Plus Plus, and I just had to say I have not yet looked into uh, that add-on, and that I, you know, I'll, I'll add it to my list because, uh, you know, I have a big list of like stuff I want to do. I got like the uh, realism one that I want to do. I've got um, a co uh, more ores I want to do, the airdrop that I want to do, and info items that uh, I want to do. So yeah, <laughs> I'm going to be a bit busy this weekend, there's also going to be more coming out on Tuesday, hopefully not too many more that I want to do. Um, but yeah, Amos Plus Plus, let's take a look at this. I did see this when it first came out, but it didn't really... It, uh, the reason why it took me this long to get around to doing it is because it didn't really interest me that much. Same with that, um, the last one I just mentioned uh, uh, in that list, because um, it... Yeah, it seems cool, but not super interesting. But might as well take a look at it. And you know, if you, if you, if there's a specific add-on you want me to take a look at, put it down in the comment section below, and I'll put it to the top of my list because you know, uh, if a well, not always to the top of my list. There's the uh, there's that uh, like spooky creatures one or whatever it's called. Uh, that I'm specifically saving for. Um, Halloween. Okay, that's locked my slot. Why is that locked my slot? Can this item is not lost upon death? Got a guidebook that looks like an enchanted book. That's the essentials. I don't need the essentials. Uh, yeah, essentials got an update. That's why I got them. Um, I'm gonna turn that off. So we have the guidebook. Um, I'm more curious as why this is locked. Uh, so there's entity armor. There's the LA armor, B armor, blaze armor, boat armor, cat armor, chicken armor, dolphin armor, creeper armor, enderman armor, ghast armor, hoglin armor, horse armor, minecart armor. <laughs> Power medic armor, phantom armor, piglin armor, pillager armor, salmon armor, sulk armor, slime armor, sniffer armor, snow golem armor, spider armor, squid armor, strider armor, villager armor, fall, wolf armor, zombie armor. There's item armor. God damn, yeah, there's so many armor. So much armor. And there's block armor. Um, right, why, why is this locked? Hold on, I wanna, I'll be right back in a minute. I wanna try and do, like, deactivate these. I know. Okay, it's still here. What, why, why I don't added this? Uh, lock slot. Give at p lock. Yeah. It's the ar um, why is the ar why has the armor add-on locks that slot? Uh numerous armors with multiple effects, but it doesn't How do I get rid of this? Why? Why I can't drop it. Why? This is just dumb. Hmm. Hold on. Game keep inventory. Make sure that's false. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, and then yeah, utility essentials book is in here. Make sure the waypoints is on. Yeah, death waypoint is on. Kill P. One. Yes! Aha. 
Yeah. Yeah, I got rid of it. Still don't know why it was even in, why it was even a thing in the first place. But it doesn't matter now because I got rid of it. And then I can just punch and leave that to despawn. Right. So let's hit. Let's take a look at all the armors first. So we've got the LA armor. It is identical to vanilla armor, but you have to use a lay fragment which can be obtained by eliminating an lay. A lay is always spawn around you. Oh! So, uh, let me just summon an lay to kill. Summon our lay. Boom. Ah, oh, they know they dropped uh, the seeds. Which makes sense. I only got two. That's with looting free and plunder on my Manulian Cleaver. I only got two. Bear in mind, the legs aren't super easy to get. Because you have to get lucky with them, like, spawning in a woodland mansion. Like, maybe it's hard-coded to drop X amount and not, and not factoring get looting. Or something I'll give a P L A L A Y In uh fifty-four. I got sixty-four LA fragments. You only need 24 to make an armor, and I don't think... Oh. Okay, right, so this is a bit buggy in this world, so I'm just going to go into another world real quick, and continue the review from there, because I don't want it to be all buggy and broken when it's not. Right, we're in a completely separate world now, with only the utilities add-on and this add-on. Uh... Yeah, there we go. You can yeah, you can see them now. Yeah, like I said, sometimes uh, world can be a bit buggy with certain add-ons, like uh, the um, ah, Tinker's Construct add-on. That was uh, very buggy for no real reason. Um, yeah, the armor itself doesn't look great in my opinion. I do like the little wings on the LA, little LA wings on the back, but eh. anyway. So armor function currently deactivated. How do you? Oh, ah, oh. ah. So that's why it was locked. Okay. So you hold this to activate the armor's ability. And it does erase your that item there if you don't have a lock. That's why the lock item. Okay, okay, that's a lot of a laser. Let's just study it for a few seconds. That's a lot of a laser. And yeah, you take it off and it. Okay, yeah. So that does explain why yeah, that was there. That was a thing. Alright. Um I I really don't like the fact that it you it it the, for this add-on to work it has to lock one of your inventory slots. Like one of the major things that a lot of people complain about nowadays is that the in is inventory problems. And you're just like, let's make that inventory just a problem just a little bit worse. No. Uh, give at p port apple crafting table. Um, yeah, no, I I just don't like that. Um, like if there was a seriously no other way you could have made it so that they act that you can activate the abilities like crouching, like seriously. 
like crouching or something just like just not just not having to lock out an inventory slot like seriously um so yeah on to the next one uh entity armor so this is the b armor next Recipe that identical to vanilla armor, use bee fragments which can be obtained by killing bees. You are never hungry. And uh, saturation is nice. So, some bee. Get back here, bee. Dab a bee, get some bee fragments. Now, I do think that, uh, I do think you are, I am getting more fragments when using just a vanilla sword, so I think it might be a bit buggy with Tinker's Construct. So yeah, you get bee fragments from killing bees, give at P, B, ingot, 60. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, and I'm now never hungry, and apparently I get really buggy jump boost. Like, look at my screen just shake and shiver. Why is it doing that? Hello, little lady. Here you go. Have that. Yeah, it's happy, LA. Uh, yeah, no. This, I mean... That, does it at least let me jump up two blocks? Okay, it does do that at least, but... God, I could not wear this for an extended period of time because that screen shaking is just super annoying. No, get this off me. Yeah, anyway. Next on Tiyama. Blaze. This identical to vanilla armor, but it blaze fragment, which can be obtained by killing blazers. Uh, wait, what did it? I forgot to read that last bit. Uh, not B. Uh, uh -uh. God damn it. Entity. Blaze. Uh, it's a blaze to get bla Why? Okay, so I summon. So let's some Blaze. <laughs> I stab Blaz. You get Blaz Fragment. And then I only got one that time. Give at P Blaz Ingot 63. So I'm just going to make the Blaze Armor. Yeah, this looks cool, I guess. And if I summon a blaze, punch him. Yeah, you get. I get one blaze rod. But why would I just do this to get a single blaze rod when I could? Oh, well, I died. When I could just dab him up and get a bunch of blaze rods. Um. Yeah, like. I didn't drop any blaze at the time, he just dropped five blaze fragments. Weird. Also, how much does this armor actually protect you? Because I didn't. I didn't, wasn't paying a, a ton of attention to how much damage I was taking, but it didn't feel like it was protecting me very much. 
Yeah, damn it, this inventory looking rubbish. I forgot I'm still in creative. And the day. Yeah, you went into lava. The day. Yeah, it's not as good as diamond. But I think it's better than that. I guess that's fair because. Well, mmm. Oh, let me just get some iron armor real quick. So, uh, so we're missing two and a half. Is as good as iron? No, it should not be as good as iron. Because to get this, first of all, you need a diamond pickaxe to go to the nether. Um, and, it, uh, yeah, no, and so yeah, you at least get diamonds. Then you have to kill a bunch of blazes. It's way more difficult to get than iron armor. So why is it only as good as iron armor? And the only uh, benefit you actually get from it is just you punch blaze, you get some blaze rods. No, it like, it should be like maybe one armor bar or one and a half armor bars with some diamond maybe. Even then, that's still a maybe because you have to kill a bunch of blazes, which it's easier to find blazes than it is to find diamonds. Uh, but you still have to find diamonds in the first place to get to the nether, and then you have to mine and you have to mine them. So it's just like no, should should be better than iron, but not as good as diamond at least. Uh, let's actually also check out the other armors. How much protection do they offer? The blade armor offers as much protection as the lay armor. And the lays can't attack you. And the B armor offers the same amount of protection and you're not going to be hungry. Which is actually more beneficial because it's locked, because of the locked out armor slot. At least you can be like, oh, well, at least now I don't have to carry food around with me. Well, that would be unless... That would be if the armor didn't make your screen shake constantly, which is very annoying. Yeah, yeah, Miss Adams, really not. Uh, like, is really not do doing good so well. Um, I'm just gonna give myself a couple of chests. Give happy. I'm just gonna put down some chest and put the armor in the chest. Otherwise, my inventory is gonna get really full really quickly. Mm. All right, so now hopefully the next one will be a bit better about that. God damn it! Uh, recipe is identical to building an armory boat fragments, which you get obtained by killing boats. Walk on water. Yeah, from chest boats as well. Nope. So you craft a boat, you stab a boat. That boat. How does it need to be oak boat? Okay. No. How are you supposed to get the
How do you eliminate a bow? Like, hold on, do I need to set it on fire? Give at P Flint. Uh, well, now that I just burnt up my boat. Right, set the fire and push the boat in the fire. No, nope, I didn't. No, they didn't give me anything. Well, how are you supposed to get fucking boat fragments? Right. What What am I supposed to do here? The book is not literally no help. Like, eliminate. Why? What? 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 Why? Why is this so dumb? What? I'm just going to cheat here because I can't be asked with this. I'm not going to spend this entire bloody review trying to figure out how to kill a bloody boat. Yeah. At P. Uh, Ing. Boat Ingot. 64. No idea how you're supposed to get them, but I use. Chance. There. Stupid add on. Oh, wait. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. And this has, gives you as much armor as the blaze armor, the LA armor, and the all the other armors, and it doesn't even work properly. Well, oh, there we go. It sometimes doesn't work properly. Oh, no, it doesn't even always work properly. Sometimes I just fall into the... the why? Like, it's not like this is a brand new add-on that just released. This has been on the marketplace for a while now. They've had plenty of time to fix any bugs or clear up any mistakes that they've had, that they've made in uh, here. Like, what? No. This is inexcusable. Cat armor. Yeah, by cat fragments get by killing cats, you don't take fall damage. Some cat. Oh, it's a kitten. I don't know if I'll get anything from killing the kitten. Get back here, you. Now I'm just going to dig a hole and summon in a hole. Summon cat. Stab cat. Got cat fragment. I mean, if you've got a uh, iron golem farm, this will be easy to get because you get tons of cat fragments anyway. Yeah, how many cat... I have four cat fragments. Give at the cat ingot sixty. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I look like IBX toy cat now, but it would be a brown. And now I don't take any fall damage, so that's TP at P wiggle wiggle one hundred wiggle enter we. So like it, so it doesn't give you slow fall; it gives you re resistance. But I feel like still I like, could be. 200 blocks. Ah, uh, one, two, thousand blocks. Don't know if it's going to let me do 2,000. Yep, oh, I think it crashed.
He definitely didn't like that. I have coordinates on. I don't even know how high up I am right now. Oh, here we go. I see land. It's all loading in real weird. Yeah, okay. You don't take fall damage. It's, that is kind of nice. How much ammo does it give you? Same as iron armor. Same as all the other armor. Yeah, at least that one is that. At least you can actually get that one. Chicken armor. You kill chicken, you get fragment. Which is uh, chicken spawn around you. Why would you want that? Right. So. Summon chicken, you kill chicken, you get chicken fragments. Got a lot on that one. Give happy chick. Ingo. Ba 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 ba. And now I'm a chicken, I use this. And it summons chickens! Also it has the same amount of armor as everything else. Why does everything have the same amount of armor? Like they should not have the same amount of armor as iron. Like you can, you can probably get a full set after just like, just hanging around the planes by and forth few uh, minutes for like a couple of days you get and you get this and you also have a bunch of free food as well like why why this should not be the same as iron armor Alright, next stop. Is dolphin armor. You make makes you swim faster. Some doll. Find a dolphin. Get back here. You kill the dolphin. You get the dolphin shards. Dolphin ain't got You craft up the armor. You kind of look a bit like a dolphin. You have a pain on your back and the long nose. And you swim fast. Now there's another dolphin here which is messing with... I don't want your dolphin space. I want it. Uh, go away. Oh. Why are there so many dolphins here? Go away. Look. It's, it's the armor spawning doll. It's spawning dolphins. So it's not the armor that makes you swim faster. It's spawning dolphins that make you swim faster. I mean, if you want dolphins for whatever reason, it's kind of, uh, is, it a, is the description a lie? Like, 
The, it's not the armor making you swim faster, it's the dolphins that the armor is summoning that makes you swim faster. I'm gonna say it's a lie because it. Yeah, the armor itself doesn't make you swim faster, it's the just dolphins that it spawns making you swim faster. You just say, it spawns dolphins when in water. And if you know about dolphins, you know that when you're in the swimming with dolphins, they make you swim faster. Creeper armor. Oh well, yeah, creeper fragments blow stuff up. I'm gonna need to get my sword out because the creeper's gonna wanna blow up at me and make some. The... There you go, you get creeper fragments. And you got. Boom, 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 boom. And now I they kind of look like I'm wearing creeper skin. And then if I hold this, you right click and you blow up. It does a fair bit of damage to you, as well. No. I mean, if you want to blow up as a creeper, why not just download the morph gauntlet add-on, find a creeper, and then transform into creeper and then blow up. Oh, it does damage to the armor as well. Yeah, nee, that's kind of lame. Entity armor. Oh god, there's so many. Enderman armor. Kill Enderman, teleport randomly when you use the ability. He insistently teleported away. Let me hear you. There you go, Enderman fragments. Just look like black blobs. Yeah, and I don't know why that screaming persists after the dead. Like, maybe I can have sorted that out by now. <laughs> and uh, man, yeah. boom, 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 and right click and you randomly teleport. In like 16 blocks away. I mean, in what scenario would you use this? Right, why is this worth giving up an inventory slot for? And let me just double check. Yep, same as Iron Armor. Why would I you? Why would I download the sad on sacrifice one of my inventory slots for essentially retextured Iron Armor that ha that uh, may or may not have a useful ability, somewhat useful ability. Gas Armor, shoes, fire charges.
Okay, gas. Got. How many did I get? I got three. So I need. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, carrying a little vaguely like a ghast. And I can shoot fire. Oh, that was surprisingly powerful. If you aim it slightly down, you just can end up blowing yourself up. Well, it does a little bit of damage to stone. Also, I'm on fire. And same as iron armor again. Right, is this really worth giving up an inventory slot for? I'm kind of funny watching them do up. So you're doing damage to everything around, it's just like, eh, I wouldn't really use this in a survival setting. <laughs> right. What's up next on the chopping block? Oh, the dread ghast. Hoglin! Kill Hoglin, get Hoglin charged. You have more recoil. What? No. More. Like, what? What is that? Spit? Does it mean, like, knockback? Have more re. English much? Try it. Some. Hog. Kill Hoglin, get Hoglin fragments. Starting to sound like a broken record. Got two Hoglin ingots. So I need 60 draw. Right. Hoglin. Ba 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 ba. Push everything from away from you. Yeah, it's just not back. Mm, uh, yeah, it looks decent, I guess. It just gives you a knockback five. Item. No. Why? Why would I use this? No. Right, come on. Uh, let me guess. Yes, same as iron armor. Ugh. Come on. Next. Horse armor. One then jump like a horse. One. Horse. You find horse. You stab horse a few times. You get horse head. You take horse. You take horse head, you craft horse armor. Now you look like horse and you 
one a bit faster and can you jump to okay you can jump two blocks can you jump three blocks yeah can you jump four blocks no oh no you can jump four blocks you can jump three blocks And yeah, well, you have jump boost four and speed two. Yeah. Same as Iron Armor. So yeah, get this early game. You have speed and jump boost. And it won't, it won't be that difficult to source sand. Especially if you spawn in the plains by only because source sand is that difficult to find. I don't know why I should. <laughs> Entity armor. Right, I'm guessing this one's not gonna even work. You are fast. Yeah, I might care if I'm gonna obtain from. Obtain from the crafting table via minecart. What? I do like get when I craft a minecart. No. You have to use minecart fragments, which can be obtained from the crafting table via minecart. Obtained from the crafting table via a minecart. Right. I hope that English was not their first language because if English was their first language, there is no excuse for this horrible English. Like, I was not good at English in school. I was like really bad. I was good at maths, science, history, rubbish at English and geography. Even I know that's bad English. Like, if take what? Like, if English wasn't their first language, then I'm sorry, like, you know, yeah, sure, you, you're doing well for someone who didn't, who English wasn't their first language. What the fuck is a devac? The fuck is with this stupid, hmm. I'm just going to assume that you can't even get them because they don't even, like, I'm... Uh, I'm just out of clue. I just... Uh, what am I supposed to do? Give at P minecart ingot 64 would help if the but, but yeah. It looks like minecart. You craft armor. You wear armor. Armor looks like minecart. Armor has same protection as iron armor. You hold this, you go fast. Gives you. Oh, there's definitely more than speed one. Yep, you're going decently fast. I mean, there's not really anything else I can say about it. Oh, good, there we go. And I picked up all the minecarts. I have lava over there. Uh, 
Right, on to the next demo. Ah, oh, fuck me, this is annoying. Power of the camera. Blah, blah, blah. Which you obtain from crafting in table via instant health per war. Um, I have an idea. Oh yeah, you just craft one minecart into five fragments. There we go. Boat. You do the same. Yeah, that's how you get. It. So what? Why did the bug tell me you had to kill a boat? You just craft. Boats and then make boat fragments. It's just a, should just say acquired by put boat in crafting table. This means you could basically get iron armor for that. What you need? So you need twenty four. So that's one two. Uh, so you need twenty four ingots to make a full set of armor. That's five, ten, fifteen, twenty. That's five boats. You can, and that, so five, and that's five wood per boat, so that's five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five boat. Yeah, twenty-five wood for, yeah. So it's basically getting iron armor for wood, at, for the same amount that would cost you to make wood armor. God, that's stupid and OP. Uh, P-O-T-I-O-N. Push. Up. Oh. Ingot Inst Right now it'll be fragment Craft TNT, you craft that, you craft that, where's the instant out? Potion fragment. You put poison oh, that's that's poison fragment. Where's the Hold on Game mode one. Right, double check I am doing this right. Entity. Power medic. Instant health level one. Inst. One, two, three, four, five. And you get eight pair. Boom, 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 boom. Itchy nose. So, this. So, when you have this on, it heals plays in the radius. So, they heal yourself. Nope, doesn't even heal yourself. So this is exclusively a multiplayer, I think. Oh, I know it does heal yourself. You get regen 4. I don't think it gives you regen 4, because that does not look like I'm healing at regen 4. Yeah, so this doesn't even work. Great. Again, this add-on has been out for a while. They, they've had more than plenty of time to fix any issues with it. Yeah, I need to eat. <laughs> On to the next one. That shouldn't even be in entity, that should be in item armor. Phantom armor. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Kill phantom, get yeah, phantom shards, can fly. Some. And. Um. Oh, come on. There you go, Phantom Fragment. Right, 
Yeah, I got three on each. One. Um, Tom. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Same as I am. Uh, it's not even proper fine, it just gives you levitation. And you take it off, legit but levitation goes away and you fall. It's not even proper flying. So the book lied, it's not flight, it's levitation. And I should go to the uh shulk armor, not the uh, phantom armor. Like night vision would have been the bet would be better because at least oh they appear only in night, so they it, logically speaking they should have night vision. Piglin armor, blah blah blah. Old gold to get new items. Some pig. Then <coughs> stab piglin. Get piglin. Got. Craft the armor. Wear the armor. You look a bit like a piglin. If I give myself a stack of gold, give that p gold in sixty-four. I'm holding gold. <laughs> So every three seconds you get a random barter. And it makes a piglin noise. I mean, this is kind of useful, but it's a bit slow, and you might as well just make a pig piglin barter system for all the piglins you would have killed, Ludda. Right. Would have been better if you just, like, if if you use this lock slot, and then like, you made it so that like, you click that, and like every few seconds you get a random. Piglin Barter an item for free, because at least then it would have been slower than the Piglin Barter system, but at least it wouldn't use up gold. But, this, but with this, you're using up gold. You've already killed a bunch of Piglins, which you could have just used to make a Piglin Barter system in the first place, because it's not super complicated. You just, like, feed them gold. Now, like, an item collection system. I it would just more of a waste of time to make this than anything. And again, it's still just as good as iron armor. Which if you're fighting piglins, you're probably not gonna be using well enough this many piglins, you're probably not oh didn't mean to chuck that in, but whatever. You're probably not gonna be using iron armor at that point, because they hit decently hard with the gold swords and their crossbows. Oh dear me. And not to mention I probably well no, it's probably fine. Uh with all the add-ons, probably not super broken. Entity armor. Your crossbow never breaks. Um, yeah. Ha! kill pair the jet. I'm getting real tired of this. Bah, 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 bah. Mm. 
Ah, oh, oh, well. Boom. And you get... Well, that's just annoying. Oh, Lily! Oh, wait, did it say there? Uh, they go torn every 10 seconds and crossbow won't break in your hand. So you have the worst, probably the worst go torn sound every 10 seconds. Like, is there a way to change the go torn sound or something? Or is it just stuck on the literally the worst go torn sound in this entire game? That's not even a go-torn sound, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the cross... Uh, yeah, crossbow. It's not taking any damage. I mean, a crossbow can have mending and piercing on it. So why not just put mending and piercing on it instead of going out of your way to kill a bunch of pillagers to get this armour? Seems like they're just trying to fix a problem that doesn't exist. Okay, we're out of P's and one to S's, so not, it's not too much more for the entity armor. Summon armor! God damn, this is gonna kill me! Uh, power of ocean. Yeah. Of the... <clears throat> um, some... Yep, salmon. You get ingot. You turn ingot into armor. Salmon. And you make it into armor. Put armor on, you look like salmon. You are better in what there's that, that clears nothing up. Ah, oh, you get conduit, you get a conduit power. That's all it does. Also, it's iron amp. Oh, so yeah, you get this is just yeah, this is a bit OP. Just killing salmons which don't even attack you and aren't that difficult to find in literally any body of water. Ah, uh, that's respawning body of water and you just get essentially iron armor with the conduit power when you're in water. God damn, and that's OP. At this point, why bother crafting iron armor? Because you get a million different iron armors with a bonus effect. And most of them more e are easier to get than iron armor. I know, not salmon armor back. Oh, God damn it. Shulker armor! Entities float around you.
Um, so so Stab show time. Ah, now I'm floating. This might not have been the best idea without any ammo on. Ow. Yep, yeah. yeah. Ah, poop. And it's just like a microsecond off. You know what? Yeah, I'm getting tired of this add-on. I'm not going to stop the review. I'm just going to speed through them a bit faster. Because... Honestly, I think I've seen enough to make my uh, opinion. It, this is just not worth it. You've given up one armor slot for basically retextured iron armor that might give you a beneficial ability and some of them may or may not break the game. So let's let's just speed through this because I'm I'm it's too early in the morning for this and it's taking way too long. Shulker. Oh no not fragment. Ooh. Damn it. Now you look like a show car. And when you use its ability, everything floats. Don't know why you want, you'd want that, but it does. It would probably hurt your dogs if you, if you have dogs. And it's the armor. Slime armor. If you fall, slime blocks are placed underneath you. I don't know why you make this and they're making the cat armor. And it's a source of infinite slime. I wonder how far you have to fall before it does it, I don't know. Three blocks, at least. Well then, why didn't replace? Why didn't it not replace? Oh! Well, then replace it then. It's a bit buggy with flying. But yeah, it's basically infinite slime. I mean, it's not like slime super difficult to get if you get a farm up. Like, I have a bunch of it on the uh, dang topia, and I don't have a bunch of, I don't even have a slime farm. So, it's not super broken, but you be broken. Also, you plug it in and breaking something up with it on accident. Sniffer armor. Find random seeds. Boom, 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 boom. Use this and every few seconds you get. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Every ten seconds you get a random seed. I mean, with the amount of sniffers you uh, kill to get this armor, you probably could just, you know, put them in a farm and get a bunch of seeds from them. So that is. Pretty much useless. I mean, it's faster than a normal sniffer, but you're still killing a bunch of sniffers to get. Yeah, there's snow golem armor. You leave the snail tray behind, snow behind you.
Boom, 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 boom. No. Oh, you have to hold that. There we go. Why? Why would you craft this other than you could get it fairly the dogs are dying for some a dog's dying for some reason? What? Oh It placed a snow block there. Oh it places powdered snow on entities, including your pet dogs. Why did you want why you would want that? I don't know. Got spider armor. He lets you climb walls. Uh, let me go into survival to test this one out. Can I climb wall? Yep. Yeah, I don't know why you needed a locked inventory slot for this. Uh, which is next? It's squid next. Yeah, squid, then strider. Uh, what does squid let you do? Best rider just lets you walk and have a squid, get random die. I don't even know why. You look like squid? You get. Random die every two seconds. Just one single random die. Uh, so if one stack of die is worth one diamond, assuming that you get to the exact same, di uh, this this will essentially generate you one diamond every sixty-four seconds. So that's one diamond a minute. Mind you, that's assuming that you're getting all the same coloured die. And some dice sell more than other dice. Yeah, not really super useful. I mean, it's easier to get. It would be easier to get an iron armor if you just go if you're near an ocean. Go an ocean, kill a few squid, get this armor. You have iron armor, and then if you want some die for like a bed or something, then you got it. Yeah. Alright, uh, next up, strider armor. Immune to fire and lava. That's a bit lame. Yeah, it just gives you fire resistance. Lame. I mean, why can't they make it so you walk on lava as well? Like, come on. Village armor. Villager trades are now on sale. It gives you hero of the village. Which is a bit ironic because you need to kill villagers to get it. You get hero of village six. Wait, six? That's. The set? No one. Um, Bill. Huh. Oh, yeah, that does significantly reduce the cost. Trades. 
is quite strong. But you do need to kill a lot of villagers to get it. Mind you, if you, get, if you just go around and find, you can probably find a few villagers with a chump base or something. So that at least has a decent effect. Got wool farm. Uh, for killing a bunch of dogs you get. Rotten meat gives you regen. Wolf helmet. Wolf leggings. And, uh, you look like wolf. And if you get what well in flesh gamma zero you have same as iron armor and yes if you eat what in flesh oh I'm not hungry yet If you eat rotten flesh, come on, let me eat. There you go. If you eat rotten flesh, it gives you regen. At least the regen actually seems to work this time. And it clears the hunger, so you're not going to have to worry about being hungry. Yes, that's decent. Because healing is quite slow on bedrock edition. But you do have to kill a bunch of dogs for it. And zombie armor. Zombies attack regenerates you. E. Zom. Leggings, helmet, chest plate, boots. Spawn eggs, I'll just get some things. Oh, that's instant health. I wanted instant damage. Yeah, mate. Boom, boom, summon zombies. It killed me because they were on fire. Why is it so lucky? There we go. All right, let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> so, this time it doesn't even work. So yeah, zombie armor doesn't even work. Like like I said, they this has been out for a while now. They've had plenty of time to fix any bugs or anything, yet that, that armor just does not work. That's the one. I want this one. <laughs> so 
But yeah, zombie armor doesn't even work. Snap. Like, why? Right, so that was all the entities. Next on to the items. God damn, this is going to take forever. Apple armor. You don't get hungry. It's the only you craft it with just app. You just craft these with apples. Let's get into survival and this. I assume that it's uh, same as it's same as iron. Shouldn't be, but is. Next stop. I am a. I was doing to hit ya. Yeah. Uh, bone armor, unlimited bone. That's actually pretty useful. Uh, wait, how do you craft that? Is it bone meal or bones? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, so it's, it is bones, so that is a lot of bone meal. But yeah, that's fair. Well, not fair, but it is decent because, you know, if you want but infinite bone meal, that's good, I guess. You've got bow armor, you get aimbot. Okay, I'm I'm interested how they make this one work. So Aimbot has been activated. Doesn't even work properly. So I wanna shoot that cow. Then you shoot in the ELA that's over there. That was over there. I mean, it finally worked, I guess. Like, how? Yeah, no, it doesn't even work properly. Would not recommend. Cake armor. Unlimited cakes. Am I slow? Game mode zero, real quick. Why am I slow? You can place down a bunch of cakes, but why am I slow? Why am I so slow? Like cakes have a lot of sugar in them, like, if anything it should be speed, not slowness. What? Why? Cheese armor. Over uh, used cheese wood, which can be obtained from the furnace via milk bucket. Random holes get created around. Why would you want that? Why? Darkness armor. Uh, the echo shards give play around you. That. Why would you want that? I like, that to just like mess with your. I like, just to make your friend's life. Uh, Terrible, this is like, and you have to get, you go so, through so much effort to get it, like, you have to go to the bleeding, like, come on, dripstone armor, you become a drill. Uh, let's see what that does. You just break, break, brah. You just break lots around you. Yeah, 
Yeah. There's Wayside Wayside Armors in this. Is that somewhat useful? Let's see, egg armor. Every 30 seconds you'll get an egg. Why? Why would you want that? Emerald armor. Trades are a lot cheaper. Like, so it's basically here over the village. The same one as like the last one, but it's easy to get because it just requires 24 emeralds instead of killing a bunch of villagers. Which you can get 24 emeralds pretty easily if you have if you just have some uh, farmers. And pearl, you can place a teleporter. Okay, let's see how this works. Place a teleporter down. Oh, uh, and then uh, you can right click to teleport to the teleporter and it's a one time thing and then you have to wait for it to cool down. Yeah, this is better, it's better than the Enderman armor, which is just a random teleporter because at least you can just like Set this up at your home base, go do your thing like a million miles away. And then when you're done with your things, but like, or if you're in like danger of like dying, because like, oh, emergency teleport home. Which makes the question, why isn't it the Enderman art? Um, because it's easier to get the Enderman armor the, than it is, uh, it's more difficult to get the Enderman armor than the Enderpearl armor. Because the, I think the Enderpearls drop more than the fragments, I guess, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Item armor. I guess that just gives you slow fall. And then just feather falling. Well, I think it actually just means slow fall. Fire armor. Mm. You use lava buckets and you leave a trail. Why would you want that? And if it's leaving a trail of fire and it doesn't give you fire resistance, then you're going to set yourself on fire. Mm. Why would you want fireworks surrounding you? Fishing rod armor, all fishing rods you use have a look at the sea. Why? Probably just use a regular fishing rod and just like get some, I don't know. Game mode armor. Use game mode fragments which can be obtained by eliminating a warden. You have 10 seconds and get creative. Why? Like that's so broken. Like with te like 10 seconds, hold on. Game. Like killing the warden, if you get if you set it up properly, it's not super difficult. Most people just don't bother because uh, you yeah, know you don't get much good from it. So I'm in game mode zero. Oh, hold on. I need to okay, so it disappears. So you get ten seconds and then it disappears. If I just put in here, well, yeah, game mode. So I'm in survival. Now I put the game mode armor on. I'm in creative, so I can just spawn in a bunch of this in that 10 seconds. And I just essentially have infinite game mode armor. Like this is entirely broken. I can just be like, oh, I, I want to make game mode armor.
Oh, you can't even crack. Why is this a thing then? Alright, well, why can't you craft it? What's the point in this then? You just get, you just put a useless drop on the water because you can't craft the armor with it. So why even bother adding it into the game in the first place? What? Why? This is the dumbest. That is literally the dumbest item armor so far. Heart of the Sea gives you Heart of the Sea. Gives you the conduit power. Um, Lightning Gamma from Lightning Wards, you, you get speed. And this gives it, at least it gives copper and um, uh, use magnet armor. Use copper ingots, your, your items are now magnetized to you. Yeah. Map armor. You always have a map in your surroundings. Of your surroundings, so that just gives you a map. Night armor! It's always night. Don't know why you want that. Pickaxe armor! Have haste. Yeah. Poison armor! Poison everyone around you. I mean, if it poisons zombies, then it's just going to heal them, because it's... Yeah. Rain armor, always raining. Uh, why? And if you're on Superfly, I guess that would be good, because you then use that to water your crops if you don't have water yet, or fill up your cauldrons. But you need water bottles to do that anyway, so if you, by the time you have three water bottles, you have an infinite source of water, that's useless. Shield armor! You can create a force field around yourself. Okay, let's check that out. Let's see how it accomplishes that. Someone... Hill. They just take... So they take damage in that area. And they don't drop anything if they die because of it. Which would be annoying if you did fight and something and then it dies and because of that and then you can't don't get any loot from it. <laughs> Show armor. Obtain from crafting able via level leather boots. You gain jump boots. Oh, shoe armor, not sh <laughs> yeah. shovel armor. Digging underneath, digging underneath you will turn dirt underneath you will turn into path. Okay, not super useful. Spyglass armor. Projectiles have a trail. That's why would you bother crafting that? Torch armor. There's light all around you. So I'm guessing it just places torches. Time set mid. Uh, I see. Give happy light block. What lights block? Oh, that is a lot of light blocks. That that's a lot of light blocks. Oh my god! Oh, and they don't disappear. Yeah, do not use this. It will cause so much lag.
And now I've got a bunch of these light blocks everywhere. Yeah, that, don't use that. It will cause so much lag. Totem armor. You have an infinite amount of totems. Right, that's a bit OP. Right, hot. Totem leggings, totem helmet, totem chest plate, totem boots. Right. Ah, so it is on a 10 second cooldown. So at least there's that. Uh, oh yeah, 3D item sort of breaks the totem of undying. But you are essentially invincible for a fair few seconds. Yeah, you, you, it's this armor is super good, like really good, because the totems will just basically make it so that it won't be just like super difficult to die. Yeah, this, this is a bit, um, that's a bit of peak. On to the next one. Trident armor. Where you look, lightning will hit. That sounds like a bad idea if you're near villagers. Trident leggings, helmet, chest plate, boots. Ah, there you go. You, yeah, you need to use that. Not oh, there we go. I mean, I guess you could use it to convert uh, brown and the red mushrooms. Ah, yeah, you can see the mushrooms changing, but the cows are not changing. I think it's because of the uh, the goddamn that's right. Uh, because of the um, the what you call it the. Uh, better mob animations add on I have, uh, texture pack I have. Uh, that's all of them. Lock armor, so you have amethyst. Yeah, it basically just makes amethyst noises. Bed armor. Well, I don't know why you'd want to set your spawn point without to bed when you need like a bunch of beds to do this. Wait, you have, wait, you have to use bed. Oh, bedrock armor, which, which you can be obtained from crafting table via deep slate. You are invincible. Say so, what? So if I get deep. There is a cobble deep slate or regular deep slate, I didn't say. So I'll just get both. Put down the crafting table. Deep slate? Yeah, bedrock fragments. Yeah, so it's regular deep slate, not cobble deep slate. See, I've had, I've had to smelt cobble deep slate into deep slate to get used silk touch. And it only it would only take 24. Yeah. Mm. Ah. Right, you do have mm. resist immense resistance and you can't really die. 
But you also can't move, which makes this pointless. Yeah, it's pointless basically because sure you're not going to be able to die, but you're also not going to be able to move. And if you're in lava, I think you'd rather be dead than this. And this is good. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah. So, it was, but, so, yeah, it was gonna, yeah, they're basically useless, because, yeah, you're invincible, but you can't do anything. Uh, not... Wait, here we are, one of the ten. No, we're not, we're not on the next one, block armor. Cactus armor. Basically has fawns. Copper armor. The uh, entities around here get struck by lightning. Coal armor. Underwater breathing. The light detector armor, you can change the time of day. Diamond ore, all ores turn into diamond. That's a bit OP. Dirt armor, everything you step on turns to dirt. Chanting table armor, every few seconds you gain a level of experience. And crystal armor, you can create explosions without cooldown. Furnace armor, all holes below you get instantly molten. That makes literally no sense. I think what it actually means is that any yours you get are automatically smelted. Maybe I don't know. Uh, turn box invisible. And that's going to be the same as that other one, as the torch armor that creates a bunch of lag. Lily, can you not be doing that? Gold or armor, you receive a health boost basically. Mm. Abel armor, no fall damage. It's basically the same as cat armor. Ice armor, and she's around you freeze. Iron bar, lock up entities around you. So I guess I just put iron bars around them. Jukebox armor, play, <gasps> plays a random song. Magma block armor, all entities around you get set on fire. <gasps> Not very good if you're trying to get to where to <gasps> drop with looting, get it. Mob spawn armor. Spawns mobs around you, don't know why you don't want that. Anyway, I'll say now, but you can spawn several but never portals around you. Why would you want that? That? Piston armor. Move blocks from underneath you to above you. Don't know why you why you'd want that. Pumpkin armor. 
Bats will follow you. Don't know why you'd want that. Skulk armor turns entities into Skulk Shriekers. <gasps> Don't know why you'd want that. Soul Sand armor. Entities around you will slow. <gasps> I don't know, I guess that's decent if you need to make an escape. Sponge armor, water around you gets removed, that's about <coughs> That's all I, I if you want to drain an ocean monument or something. Mm. I'm in the wrong <coughs> armor. Uh wrong item. <coughs> Stone armor! It basically gives you resistance. TNT armor, three explosions, which is basically the same as a creeper one. Vine armor, you regenerate from the decline. Vines, basically the same as a spider armor, except you lead vines everywhere. Warps, fungus armor, hoglins attack regenerates you. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna assume that doesn't work just like the zombie one. Wool armor, colorful wool will be placed underneath you. Don't know why you <gasps> don't know why you'd want that. Don't know why you why you would want this add-on. It's it's just bad. The book is unhelpful at times, and the armor it like you lose one inventory slot, whether or not the <gasps> the armor does or does not uh, um use that uh, ability does or does not use that inventory slot. So why would you want this? And the armor, I believe, is not even that good because you can get um, yeah, and the armor itself isn't that good because it's all they're all just iron, iron armor, retextured iron armor. Yeah, if you want my opinion, instead of downloading this, go download the morph corn add-on if you want to look like other mobs, and if you and if you want um. Better armor. The elemental crops add-on has better armor than this. <coughs> than this. And it, um, yeah, and also the morph core has mob abilities <coughs> uh, better than this. Like seriously, I can I would not recommend this to anybody because it is just not a good add-on. <coughs> and uh, anyway. I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. Um, <gasps> well, yeah. Uh. Okay, apparently my uh, enter stops my <gasps> recording. But well, like I was saying, um, oh, and I created a bunch. Yeah, that's uh, messed up. Anyway, um. Yeah, I just can't recommend it, at, like, at all. So, yeah. Uh, these just add-ons are just fair. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next one, and bye bye Also, I forgot about the uh, mob, mob armor. Mob armors. It, uh, if you want mob armor, there's literally a mob armor add-on, which I'm 90% sure I did a review on. Where is it? In here. There it is, mob armor. Right, this looks better, and it uh, has better... Is the Mob armor is just better than this, if you want uh, mob armor. Armor um, well, that looks like mobs. And there's a marketplace pass, so you have it. If you have that, you can just, like, download it. So yeah, um, it's just out. Uh, there's just multiple add-ons that does what this does, but better. <laughs>